Recently, Mrs. Tinkerer took up the hobby of making books and journals from scratch. In order to make it easier for her to glue the spines together, she asked me if I'd build her a book press. Well, in this video, we're going to do just that. We're starting off by ripping some of our one inch oak to width. Now on the miter saw, with the stop set up, we're going to cut our pieces to length. We need to put a round over on both the top and the bottom. We're using this quarter inch round over bit. After a little light sanding, we're going to mark the holes for our clamping bolts. Now with both the top and the bottom clamped together, we're going to use the drill press to drill all the way through. You may have noticed that the boards are narrower than they started out being. After I got going, I realized that they were way wider than they needed to be, so I ripped them down. Now we're going to use a Forstner bit to countersink the area where the washer and the nut go. Carriage bolts have a square shoulder under the head to keep them from spinning. In order to make my hole square, I'm just using a small tapered file. Now a little assembly. First we'll use a flat washer, then a lock washer, and then a hex nut. We're going to slightly enlarge the holes on the top so that it moves freely up and down. You can see why we recess the nuts now. This way the top fits flush with the bottom. Now to add a fender washer and a phenolic knob. This provides our clamping. So that the book press doesn't slide all over the place when you're using it, we're going to put some rubber feet on it. The first step in that process is measuring and drilling pilot holes for the screws. This is the rubber foot. We'll screw it on with the screws provided. very good gripping power. To make raising and lowering the top half of the book press easier, we're going to put a handle on it. Here I'm just laying out where the holes need to be drilled. I countersunk these holes as well so that the screw heads don't interfere with the clamping. And after a little reassembly, let's see this thing in action. Mrs. Tinkerer starts by assembling her pages in the correct order. She adds her covers. And then she's going to temporarily clamp them with a couple of binder clamps. This will hold everything together as she inserts it into the book press. Loosening the phenolic knobs allows the top of the book press to raise up. She inserts the book in there and then tightens the knobs to clamp it. Now she can remove the binder clips. Then she'll start applying coats of PVA glue to the spine of the book. She'll let each coat dry in between and apply about three or four coats. Once the final coat is dry, she unclamps the book from the book press. And you can see the final result. And the book is bound together perfectly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you'll want to stay tuned for the bonus feature that's coming up 
in about three seconds. The following is a paid advertisement. Do you love the taste of fresh squeezed book juice, but hate the hassle of fancy machinery? Are you tired of working to exhaustion just to get a single cup of book juice? If only there was an easier way. Introducing the new book press from T3 Industries. Just insert your book of choice, tighten down the knobs, and instantly squeeze out cup after cup of delicious book juice. The secret is our patented triaxial design, making it so easy to use that everyone in the family will get in on the action. That tastes funny. When Dad squeezes his old middle school yearbook in the press's sturdy oak frame, his glory days will come flooding back to him. 87 was a good year. We guarantee you'll find a million reasons to love the book press, but don't just take our word for it. I use book juice as a meal replacement so I can keep this killer physique. Thanks, book press. Not to be used on ghost books, books on the occult, the big book of manure, the art of prolonged sock wearing, the hunter's guide to scat, mucus and you, a symbiotic partnership, cat litter basics, and other similar themes. Warning, Charles Schultz books contain peanuts. Tastes like freedom. Some restrictions apply. Not available in the U.S. or anywhere else. Book press, book juice, and killer physique are registered trademarks of T3. This is obviously a fake ad. Please don't be stupid and try to order.